So I'm going to move her head. Okay. And here is our perch. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's start with our premaxilla. Okay. It's the little part that's going to have the teeth on it. Okay. So you can feel it's got teeth. And then you've got your dentary down here also has the teeth. Okay. So dentary, premaxilla has teeth. This lovely triangle shape here is your maxilla. Okay. Right up here is your nasal. Behind it is your frontal. Okay. This little funny looking bit right here is your preoperculum. This big part right here is your operculum. Preoperculum, operculum, coming before the one behind it. Right. This is what? That's your quadrant. Okay. And it's articulating with your articulate. Okay. So dentary. You can see right here, dentary, dentary with the teeth. Articular is behind it, okay? Then you have a quadrate articular articulation, okay? Quadrate articular, this little square one. Up here is your hyomandibular, okay? Skip this one right here. Hyomandibular, quadrate, articular, dentary, maxilla, premaxilla, preoperculum, operculum. Okay, then we have our coracoid right here, okay? And your scapula right above it, okay? And that's composing the structure that holds up your, what fin is this? Pectoral. pectoral fin. Right. There's two pectoral fins. They are paired. This is your pelvic fin. They are paired. Therefore, are they, what type of skeleton are they a part of? Appendic Appendicular skeleton. Yes. Now, here we've got a couple of different other types of fins. All right. We have our spinous or anterior dorsal fin. We have our soft dorsal fin or posterior dorsal fin, our caudal fin, and our anal fin, okay? This is called the spinous dorsal fin because these spines right here are composed of actinotrichia. You can also call them actinotrichia, all right? This is, if you put it on a practical actinotrichia, you're probably going to get it right if it's pointing to the spine, not to the spaces in between, okay? It's actinotrichia because it's all like this really solid protein that's forming these. So it's really spiky. That's why it's called the spinous dorsal fin. Okay, actinotrichia forms those. Back here, this is called the lepidotrichia. If you look at it, there's like these little lines you can see on it. Okay, and they're sort of um, segmented, so it gives it a softer, more flexible feel. That's why it's called the soft dorsal fin. Okay, and the spines here are called lepidotrichia. Got it? Okay. Then you have your caudal fin and your anal fin. All of these are not paired, so what part of the skeleton are they? Axial. Axial. Good. All right. Um, let's see. We also have ribs. We have two different types of ribs, okay? The long ones that are coming down are called what? Plural. Ventral ribs, okay? Or plural ribs, I believe. Right? Yes. Yeah. Where am I? I see this is where I have this. Plural, plural, and plural ribs. Okay, yes. Yeah. And then these little ones here, see it here, see it here, see it here, see it like the little ones coming off on the side right there? These are your dorsal ribs. Okay, also called epipleural ribs on top of the plural ribs. Okay. okay, so the dorsal ribs are coming off? Of you see them? Now they're going different directions. The dorsal ribs are going like straight back, okay? The, the plural ribs are going like down. Okay, down versus back, okay? directions of them. Um, you have two different types of spines coming off of your vertebrae here. You have your neural spines here coming off the top, and then hemal spines here coming down off the bottom. Okay? Hemal spines. Neural spines, boop, 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 recall the positions of the notochord, nerve cord, yada, 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 yada. Okay. Um, good. That's the fish. Okay.